Welcome to part two of the garden quilt mystery quilt that we're doing over six months. Um, so we did last month we did a nice long panel that we appliqued. Well, this month, guess what? We're going to do another long panel. So in your pattern that you can download from my site, gourmetquilter.com under mysteries, this is part two. You'll have these nice applique shapes and some instructions of how to cut what and things. And we're going to cut another long panel and this time I've already cut out my applique shapes here and I've ironed most of them on and most of you I know will know how to do all this sort of thing but I just thought I'd quickly show you how to do this uh, little curving of the stems that I do so in your pattern you'll have some measurements as to where the stems go and so I can just pop a pin in and I just tuck the little shorter stem under the long straighter bit and I'll just quickly show you how I do that curving around so I don't actually need those pins anymore. In fact, they're possibly in my way now that all my stems are in place. Um, the pattern tells you how long to cut the stems and things so that this will all work for you. So what I've got here is my stem, shorter one here, tucked under the longer stem. I haven't done any stitching on this yet. It's all just ironed. And I haven't ironed the little flowers on yet. So with my iron, I'm just going to start that off and I'm just wanting to curve that around because these stems are only narrow, a quarter of an inch or so wide, there's quite a bit that you can do with just moving that. So I'm just really on one edge of that at the moment with the iron and I'll come back and flatten it afterwards. So just curve it around as much as you can. Now you've probably got a little bit much length there, don't worry because we're going to chop that off. So I've got that so that half of it is pressed down there and now I'm just going to make sure the rest of it presses down nice and flat there just to where it doesn't really want to go any further and then with my scissors I'm actually just going to chop that off because we just don't need that bit and that's now ready for me to iron the next flower onto so that would go onto there so that we've got this nice little thing going along here with with these flowers all pointing downwards a little bit. I'm just going to iron that in place. And I'll, so I'll quickly do the top bit just to show you again how I did that nice little curve there. So I've got my stem here flapping away and I want to start bringing that around so I'm just ironing on the inside of the curve edge and turning that around as I as I iron just that little edge around as tight as you can get it without it getting all creased and again I'm going to just oh I can iron that, finish ironing that first so I'll just iron that other edge down now so that it's all sitting nice and flat and that little bit that's sticking up there we don't need so I'm just going to trim that off and then I've got one more flower that's just going to sit on top there. And those little hanging flowers are looking quite at home on their little curved stems. So I just thought I'd quickly show you how to do that little bit of curving. Now I've got to go away and do the stitching because I've got everything for this part ironed in place. So your pattern will show you how to do all that. And I'll go and do my stitching and just show you how I've got it done when it's all stitched. So I've been very busy sewing because I decided to make two of these quilts. Um, but I've done all my applique stitching around, so I'll just show you this one on the light coloured background. It's a different fabric to, I did, to what I did part one on. But I'm quite pleased with the way that's all come up with my curved stems, etc. And then I've done this one in these delicious oak shot fabrics which is looking wonderful. And this one I'm using the straight stitch applique, not the blanket stitch like the other one. Um, and I'll be coming back and doing some of the details like the bird's legs and eyes and things like that later on. So just for the moment, it's just the applique. But I'm really pleased with the way that's coming up. So that's part two done. So now you should have part one and part two of only one quilt, unless you're like me making two. So I've got these two long panels done now. So that's parts one and part two done. And I hope you're really enjoying this garden. 
and that your garden is growing well. And uh, we'll see you next month. Have fun.